Well, hello and welcome back. Today, we're on our way to the Lighthouse Sandy Beach. It says free Wi-Fi and it says free beer, but someone has written the word not. So let's go and see what we can find out. Miss Ochin Gwasidiola Booth, what have you got to say? Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again. Mr. Paul, where are we Yes, going? we're gonna go to the Lighthouse, I'm losing my English, the Lighthouse Sandy Beach. Why do you usually lose your English? It's because your my native, English was never very good. It's your native language. I can imagine you will lose at all the English language. What language you can speak? I speak gobbledygook. What? Gibberish. Ah, oh, okay. I believe Mr. Paul lose his English because of all the love he's got to me. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Don't Keep be going. shy. Don't Keep be going. shy, Mr. Paul. I know that you're losing the English because you see my beauty and then you lose all the brains, all English, you know, you spend it immediately. Stop now, Miss Oching Receive Your Booth. That is Miss Oching Receive Your Booth, the most beautiful woman in the world. So, come on, the booth. You take the camera. You're in charge. The photography will probably get better. Film the little drive as we first go. All, Try I and keep the camera straight, will you? First of all, yes. I will film myself. Okay, well that's the wrong way around then, isn't it? No, it's not. That's right. There we go. Mr. Paul, don't mix me. Because otherwise People I'll... want to see... Look at that. Look at that. Let me take over. Look at that. That's Ooh. the lighthouse in the distance. And we're coming to the beach. And of course, let's just check that one. We're coming that to way. the what? The beach. <laughs> Could be the beach, but it's actually the beach. And it's called Lighthouse Beach because there's a lighthouse on it just over there. Well, it's not actually on the beach, but it's on a little mountain above the beach. Oh, look, look at that. What? There's dinner. dinner. Some goats. So, without further ado, we'll park up. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm dying again. I'm afraid that dinner will run away from you, you Mr. You think so? You cannot catch it. I'm quite a fast runner. Let's go have a chat with those goats, shall we? Okay. Go on, Booth. We've got places to go and places to see. Mr. Paul? Yes? Are you closing the car? I'll close the car. This is one of Miss Ochin Gracivi Le Booth's things at the moment. She thinks that crime in Cyprus is going to go up. I don't think so. Let's go and see them goats. Come on, the booth. Come on, Mr. Paul, come on. What have you got to say? I've got to say that I'm very glad to be with my people, my lovely people, and your people. Oh, very nice to see you again. Excellent. And the airplane is going. There is. Hey, you know They're what? They're coming in. I've got an idea. Yes, what's let's, that? Uh, let's steal the ship. Yes. And take it to airplane to fly. Well, we could get one of those goats, chop it all up. I could give it to Marios the mechanic. He could cut some suvla and then we could feed the lovely tourists. Let's yeah. go see them goats. We're showing you rural Cyprus. Look at this. Where else in the world would you find goats about to go to the beach? Look at that. I have never seen the goats so close in the real life. <gasps> they eat in the tree. Look at that. They eat in the tree. They're having a little snack is what they do. <gasps> Where's snack? Snack. Ah, snake. Not snake, yes. snack. He's a billy goat, see? This is a mother, she's got titties. Yes. Don't say those words. But she's Look got... Them. Ah, don't say those words. This is a family channel. Look at that. She's got milk. Truly in touch with nature. Now, come on, Abu. Let's get down to the walkway. Let's get down to the plage and take the lovely people on a nice little stroll along the plage from the lighthouse, which is just over there, yeah. out over there along the front of the Tomb of the Kings area. Now, if you like to play a little bit of volleyball, I suppose there's other sports you could play as well, tennis <laughs> in the sand, badminton in the sand, but if you want to, you can come out down here, who's my English again, and you can play. Look at that. One moment, Miss LaBeouf is off. Let's have a look and see where she's going. Ah, 
a bit of wood. Absolutely wonderful. Now, as you can see, there's like a steel little structure with some wood planks around it. And the idea is obviously so the Miss Oching Receiver Labouf can do the chit. That was one of my views. Can do the chichotka. Now, some people might say that they're not very nice, but I would say that they are art. As is Miss Oching Receiver Labouf, the greatest chichotka dancer in the world. Come on, Abouf. let's go and show the people the plage because it is a very, very nice day. And a lot of people come to this channel because they want to see the, the views. views. That's what they want because this channel is about three things. Those views, <gasps> your views, and of course, your views. my views. Although I don't, I don't actually get that many because she always wants to turn around and face the camera. <sighs> so let's get out to those rocks, Labouf and show the lovely people what it's like to live in... Is it to paradise? live in paradise, it, it looks like to live in paradise. It is. Let me show you the spectacular view. A little bit of waves, but it's absolutely beautiful. You can see them see moving. You can see the crash ship in the distance. It's paradise. Wait for it, here it comes. <laughs> Not quite correct. Those views, your views, and of course, my views. Miss Ochin Grassivia Labouf, the most beautiful woman in the world. And we'd like to thank all of our subscribers for the gift that you've given us to allow us to share our lives, and we will give you hopefully what you want, especially for you and spectacular views. Can you see the different colours in the sea Labouf? I hope. You can see it on camera, because the way I understand it, it's the way the shallow one goes deeper, but also as the sea is getting warmer. And in another month, More warmer. that's one of my views, it'll get warmer and warmer, and it will be truly, and I mean truly, spectacular. So let me show you. I'm going to mount this rock, and then I'm going to show you. Look at this. Paradise. We'll continue on our little stroll up the coastline and we're going to take you with us. Go on, Labouf. Let's get going. Let's get going. I'm losing my English again. You <laughs> walk ahead. German. I'm losing my German, yes. German. You walk ahead. What it is, I was talking to Mr. Smoker last night. I'm making fun, Mr. Smoker. And he stole my English because his English was so good, it was unbelievable. Absolutely so good that I was actually blown away. And then his wife, Liskey, says that she doesn't speak English. But if that's not speaking English, what can you say? What yeah? is then to yeah. speak English? Exactly. It shows you the difference between, should we say, the educated Europeans and the rest of us in the world. Because they think that they don't speak English, but they speak better English than we do. Anyway, Labouf, off you go. Let's have a nice little walk along the rocks. It's again a walk that not many people would do. So I'm going to shut up and follow her and let you enjoy the tranquility and the views and the spectacular 
rock formation along the pathway here behind the Tomb of the Kings and the lighthouse area. So I'll shut up for the next five minutes. Stay with us. One day one snake will eat me, some snake will eat me, because in these rocks always snakes eating you. I promised the people that I'll shut up, so let's show you the spectacular view as the waves lap against the rocks, and it is tranquil, beautiful and spectacular, let me show you. We honestly believe that we made your day today, or your night. Hopefully. Hopefully. I like this word, hopefully. Hopefully, we're going to come many, many other days here, to the seaside and beach side. And then, you... Could, could you see how nice and clean is the seaweed, but... It's a clean, clean water today. And now the sea is quiet, like a lake. We wish you the most lakiest lakes. Mr. Paul! Right, go want... on the booth. Mr. We've Paul, got places to go and places to see. The most lakiest, I mean the quiet, like a lake. Because you see, <coughs> this uh, waves. I understand what you mean, Lebouf. You're a little bit oh, like... You nearly fall down. Almost falling on my ass. Anyway, ooh, that's troublesome to get across there, that's for sure. Let's go back that way and go oh, round and I take can. the people out I for can. another few minutes. If I was you, Lebouf, I wouldn't do that. But off you go and I'll film it. Could be interesting. Right, you want to see an old man make a fool of himself? Keep watching. What we will do for the viewers, wait for it, I'll show you the view before I fall over. <laughs> right, come on, Booth, you're going the wrong way. Oh. But orientation is terrible. We're going to go that way, show the people that view, show the people the Farus, this is what this beach is called by the way, Farus Beach, show the people the multi, multi million euros Farus Beach it. Village. Even if I had billions, I wouldn't buy it. Well, I wouldn't either, but some people there do. There is a few Go reasons. A look. First reason, it's very humid over there. You know that. Uh, as close you are to the sea, then wet you are, you get in. Mm -hmm. First. A second, it's quite noisy all the time in the summertime because of the people coming and joining the seasides with the children. And the third reason, it's too expensive. They are very, very expensive. But of course, it depends which part of the world you're coming from and it depends which particular part of that world that you're coming from. If you're coming from downtown London, downtown Moscow, downtown New York, what's five million? Because yeah. that's what they are. Yeah. 
But again, and those houses, supposed to be a little bit more private-ish, a little bit more far away from each other, but one is breathing to another's nose. Well, I agree with you. I mean, I'm not a multimillionaire. I don't even wish that I was, but I'm not. But if I was, I would understand that I would want that villa a little bit further away from that villa and a little bit further away from that villa. Because when my Oching Recifula booth goes into the swimming pool, I wouldn't want the world to walk around here and look at her. But hey, let me show you the view. Beautiful, by the way. Wait for it, because that is spectacular. Look at that. That was one of my views. Lepouf, yes. if I was you, I would not go any further than the wall because there are cameras everywhere and, well, we don't want to get arrested. Not today, it's because we've got two more videos to make. I'm not on the Russian-Ukrainian border. Come on, you. I've been living here so long. If I step on there, what? They're going to arrest me? One day. Well, they might do. Let's show you the view down here because it is spectacular and it does take your breath away. Wait for it. Here it comes. Miss LaBeouf seems to be in awe of this villa. So we need a little bit more money if that's the one she wants to buy, because it's about five million. It, it's actually the lovely view they should have. This is no doubt these people, you know, behind me, they were um, where I'm standing now. But the matter is that sometimes uh, you have to choose in between the quality and quantity of money and then you have to choose to be more and more special if you've got so much money and i wish you to have all the money in the world i wish you to have the, all the happiness in the world please stay with us because we love you L love you she's lost her english i've lost my seventh language my dear my goodness click and subscribe Bye. thanks for watching if you like what you see hit the like click subscribe and come back for some more of our madness look at this beautiful little beach bar i've never noticed this bar before i think it's quite new look at that wow but as the booth is just whispering in my ear there's something playing in the background and mr youtube doesn't like it so we're going to move a little bit faster look at that So this is now like a little beach resort in a hotel, isn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. And it's called, how do you say that? Because I can't pronounce it. What? Kefalos. Kefalos Beach oh. Village. So, Kefalos can Beach you, Village. Can you pronounce village? Yes, I can read it now. Kefalos Beach Village. Non and it's very nice. Would be charged. <gasps> Non-residents would be charged. Charged for what? This is a public pathway which we're allowed to walk down and I'm going to take you on the walk and show you. Have you seen that, Babu? Look how beautiful that is over there. Look at it. I know, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. It's like a little cove within yeah. the rock formation. Yeah. So I think the viewers will stay with us for a little bit longer as we walk down to it and as we show it. And then, as they say in American English, we'll we will it call it a... Rape. Rap. Rap. Oh. We'll call it a rap. rap. She's confusing her English again. Uh, doesn't matter. That's a nice little spot here though, isn't it? Yeah. So, if the viewers want to see, should we say, some more unusual, slightly off the beaten track resorts, drop it in the comments and let us know. I mean, we love the Alexander the Great Hotel, the Olympic Lagoon, I'm losing my English again, etc, etc. But, if you want to see more of this, a little bit further down the beach, 
we'll go and have a look. And if your name is Antonio and you're living in Spain and you want us to go back to the Bella Rosa or somewhere else, drop it in the comments and let us know. How are you doing over there, my Spanish friend? Buenas dias. I hope you're still watching. I believe you are. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Look at that. I think I'm going to get wet as well. Yeah, I know. Ooh, Congratulations. We Congratulations. We made it to the edge. And the view is to die for. Now I was wondering, do you think the Cyprus Tourism Board that's commissioned this yeah. will allow us to use the line, come to Cyprus, because it's worth... What was that line you said? Which line? Ah, yes. The views are to die for, come to Cyprus and... Let's die together. Let's die together. Yes, Mrs. Carter. <laughs> it's probably not quite the appropriate line, but you understood what we actually meant. So, it could be a bit of a joke, like our channel. And I'm going to show you the view, and I'm going to shut up, and I'm going to die. The booth's going to say goodbye. I'm saying goodbye to all my dear people and lovely people. We love you. Thanks for watching. If you like it, Hit the like, click subscribe, come back for some more of my madness and her madness, of course. I'm going to walk for another minute or so. That's going to stay closed and you're going to get a view.